Oh, fucking dandruff all over. Can you see the dandruff on all of his? Disgusting. Are you going to do that with your eyebrows? I can. I showed you. Honestly, I feel like my life is just steadily going downhill. Like, I woke up at fucking 12 pm today. And I remember that when my mum came home yesterday, I just. I, I couldn't really find words to speak to her too much. Because I felt useless. It's just, it's tough, it's tough. I'm about to clean myself up, go on a run, start reading everything. I have to fix my sleep. A lot of things I have to do. Uh, I feel immensely behind in life. Compared to my friends. Not compared to my friends, but other kids I see on social media pretty much, for the most part. Feel useless, inadequate, and I think these feelings are good because then it will inspire me to take change. But again, the feeling of being useless and being just abhorrently fucking uh, a bomb at home all day, off the ways of my heart, heavy. Yeah, fuck. Why is my cable always on the floor, bro? God damn. I'm trying my phone. Uh, I feel like. I don't know, it would be worse if I was playing video games, I have to say. Because if I was playing video games, I'd be like. I'd be burning time and I'd feel like heavily, in even more in inadequate. With what I'm doing right now, I'm choosing to face reality. Jeez, can you see the fucking dad drop? Jesus Christ, man. Immediately woke up and start recording videos. <sighs> Cat's tired as well. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his ass. He's grumpy ass. Grumpy ass. It's uh, it's often a heavy feeling that we all get in life. And I'm already, I'm only 17. In four months, I turn 18. I'm terrified of it. And I hope that within that time frame, I can, with the four months, not even four months, I want to do it today, step by step, slowly, slowly, try to fix my fucking life and get it all together. It's, all, it's very, very fucking annoying where I am in life at the moment, and it isn't exactly where I want to be. I think feelings of inadequacy and frustration at where you are in life is actually a sign of high intelligence. Because if you're st if you're stupid and you're dumb, you kind of don't really care. Ha ha, happy, happy. You know, stupid people tend to be more happy. Smart people tend to be more unhappy. So if you're unhappy with life, you're generally probably on the more intelligent spectrum, which is quite ironic because more most intelligent people seek complacency. They seek comfort, short-term comfort, because they understand that because they're smart, it's difficult to face reality as it is. So it's smarter. Use the short term gratification, sort of in, in, delayed gratification, short term gratification, and instant gratification comparatively to delayed gratification. It's quite a weird dilemma to be in, but I don't want to be running away from my issues anymore. I think I'm going to name this video I'm 17 and I think I'm a failure in life. Which is quite fucking stupid. How the fuck? I barely lived life. Only last year when I actually started taking my fitness seriously, started taking my financials seriously, all this shit seriously, I truly felt alive. Uh, up until that point, I genuinely felt, how do I say this, I genuinely felt trapped, like locked in. There's feelings of inadequacy as well, but then... It wasn't, as, it wasn't as heavy as it was now because I was still in school, right? At least you're doing something, right? What the fuck am I doing in school? Um, I was doing well in the beginning and then I started failing. And then I was like, oh, fuck this shit. Because I honestly didn't see myself going anywhere with school. I don't know how, if you guys understand that. I didn't see myself going anywhere with the education system. I don't have anything I particularly want to do after. Of course, I want to learn science after. 
But I don't want to be making a company that bleeds money for like fucking five years. Because I have mouths to feed. My mouth to feed. I have to help retire my mother. I have to choose the, entrepreneur, the most money entrepreneurship route at the beginning. If you think about it, what I wanted to do was buy mechanical engineering and mechanical engineering in order for a product or service that I deemed invaluable to the market, which would revolutionize things. That would take at least five, ten years of cybernetic development of fucking money in, money in, no money out. Like, it would be, honestly, with most science business models, I think most of them, like, they bleed money for a while, and this is how people get them, like, that stupid misconception after like after a while they actually start making money and that's not even fucking guaranteed you can still fuck all like all the way through of course you can make money first fucking day if you like develop the thing on your own with your own money in the, in the wild and you gather investors and you sell you sell them the thing uh, mass market production immediately but for the most part if you're getting investors and you're still in the development stage you're gonna get fucked because it's going to be very, very time consuming because you, uh, to create a new product that hasn't been created before or revolutionize an existing product or improve existing product. Even by an increment, even an incremental improvement will be immensely time consuming and cost perhaps hundreds of thousands to the millions mark. It's fucking that much. That's the cost of making new technology. And it's crazy because at some point, if I make it, I get a pan. Even then, they've still managed to be commoditized. So even then, I like I probably work. I'll be already do like a, a build to sell to invest type business model. Yeah, like five years I spent building on the business. My heart, blood, and, my my heart, blood and tears. What? My blood, sweat, and tears on the business model. And then after that, I can sell my business model for like a cool five hundred million dollars. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck will buy. Maybe Jeff Bezos. Like he'll just swipe his credit card real quick. Yeah, five hundred. I don't care. <laughs> Likelihood, it's a very low likelihood, but it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. Draw reference. I recently was seeing my face in the videos. Face was puffy. But I don't care. I need to increase my neck width. And. I'll be small. I still want to dedicate myself to the book for the next four years of my life. I don't care. I'm going to bulk. I don't care. I need to make an actual workout plan. I'm going to make it today and start following it today. Because today is, all the, is the only day that matters. To me. To me. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, man. How come this cat is the only thing that's known, I've known for a while? I'm, the only thing that this cat is known is me. It's quite worrying. <laughs> I'm kind of a fucking idiot. I'm to play this video. How much long is this video? Three minutes, got, or oh, eight minutes. Catch you guys next one.